Hello and welcome back to Groves Does Britannia. Today we are back in my M1 Finance portfolio going over the February uh, movements that happened within this portfolio. Uh, this is my standard brokerage account. It is taxable account, but it's something that I put $550 in every month and I make videos once a month on it to kind of document and record my progress as I go. Uh, for personal uh, amusement and uh, just to kind of put it out there and hopefully uh, inspire other people to start their investment journey. So this is not financial advice. I'm not financial advisor. I'm learning as I go. And uh, this is just what I'm doing for fun. So uh, let's jump right in. Uh, so far... I started probably, what was it 2020? And overall, I've earned $1,640.63 in total dividends with a market gain of $10,710.60 with a total account value as of March 14th at $52,022.39. Um, so I think I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I've got a. Uh, three pies. One is for uh, individual stocks, one's for index funds and ETFs, and one is for speculative assets that I was kind of playing around with in the beginning. Uh, my goal is to have 80% in index funds and about 20% in stocks, but uh, I was really heavy in stocks in 2021 uh, and 22, and so I've, I've since changed that, and so I'm trying to invest all my money going forward into the index funds until I get to the 80%. But currently I'm at 48% um, up in each. They're about dead even. But as I invest, it's only putting money into the index funds. My index funds are comprised of uh, very good uh, funds, in my opinion, VTI, VYM, QQQ, SPHD. They're, these are all solid uh, holdings uh, for you to have. Uh, PEY is more of a dividend play. Um, and then PBW, I just want some exposure in clean energy. Uh, but as you can see, that one hasn't been doing very well. But uh, when I buy that, I'm just buying it at a discount. And maybe, you know, 10, 15 years down the road, uh, there will be some, some nice gains there. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, on the stock side of things, uh, and videos rocking, uh, this this stock I'm up $2,479 on a $500 investment so put in 500 bucks and it's, it's grown to almost three grand uh, I haven't added any more it's so dang high right now but uh, I've done really well in that discover I'm rocking rhythm capital is doing well Microsoft all these are solid solid gains um, but I mean pretty much green all the way down the board which means they're expensive to buy right now, but uh, they've done well since uh, I originally bought these these items. And then uh, speculative assets, I want to exit some of these, um, but I want to do it in a way that's strategic to where I don't lose a whole lot when I exit. So that's that. Uh, but let's dive right into the dividends. And we'll just start the beginning of the month. Uh, February 1st, AT&T, $5.85. CVS, 307. I deposit 550 into this account every single month. In 2024, last year, I was doing 500 a month, so I increased it just a hair. And this buy, it triggered a, a buy event of $558, and it bought all in QQQ. It buys what you're low in to try to get back up to the, the target percentages that you set for it. So, and that's a that's a solid uh, index fund to, to be in. So I don't mind. Uh, and then after that, Mastercard give me a dollar ten, two seventy six in Hormel, eight cents in GE Healthcare, uh, Procter and Gamble three dollars and nine cents. $2.12 in Realty Income, $1.26 in Apple, $2.57 in Nor Norfolk Southern, uh, and then $0.32 cent reduction for uh, ADR fee. 
Uh, Starbucks gave me $3.21. Not quite enough for a cup of coffee, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, $11.81 from SPHD. I'll take that every day of the week. Absolutely. Oh, I messed up my calculator here. Sorry about this. Live, live action, no editing. <laughs> 12, dollar 26, 57, minus 32, plus 321, 81. Okay. Uh, next up, PEY, 895, uh, which triggered a buy event. Uh, PBW, 36.63, it purchased a little bit of that. And that's it for February. It's just $45, 55 cents. But February is typically always a slow dividend payout month. Um, your big months are going to be uh, your quarterly, your March, June, uh, September, December. Those are your big months. And as you can see, we're in the middle of March already. I'm a little bit late making this video, but uh, March is already paying out some nice dividends. So I can't wait to see how this ends up uh, for the next video. Uh, but yeah, uh, short month, not a whole lot happening, but portfolio looks great in my opinion. Uh, look forward to seeing what I can grow it up to. Uh, this platform is M1 Finance. This is my preferred platform for my long-term investing. I uh, also dabble with Robinhood and Webull a little bit. Links to all three of these will be in the description below. Uh, some of those uh, guys offer free stocks if you sign up. Um, so that's there if you want. Uh, but like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. I try to make one of these every single month try to uh, inspire other people to start getting into investing, start um, growing their future for early retirement or better life or whatever you want to do it for. So appreciate all y'all riding along with me on this journey. And until next time, take care.